Hi folks, my name is Ashley, I'm one of the founders of Skira and I'm here today to show you what's new in Construct 3 release 268. As ever, there's a whole load of new things in the latest update, uh, but I'm just going to focus on the one big new feature in this release, which is the 3D camera plugin. Uh, this opens up a whole new world of possibilities for designing games from a whole new perspective. Um, so, to start off, I'm going to demonstrate a quick first-person shooter template, which is uh, you can find in the latest version of Construct. You can see there's some 3D boxes being dropped in to create a 3D kind of level here. And this is actually a 2D game. Construct remains 2D game development software, and you can actually run this game uh, from a 2D perspective. And you can see, uh, from this perspective, it's just a top-down shooter style game, a bit like the, uh, the ghost shooter template. Um, which the beginner's guide covers. And now with a 3D camera you can essentially just move the perspective to be pointing uh, in the direction that the player faces and then it looks like this. And now we have a uh, real 3D kind of game uh, with the camera moving around in 3D and you can see everything from a first person perspective. And these piggies here are actually 3D shapes um, to create a kind of billboard effect. This is uh, super cool, as you can see, it uh, opens up a whole new kind of way of designing games in Construct. But remember, this is still a 2D game. All the collisions and all the logic is still happening in 2D. Uh, all that's happened is now the um, camera has been moved into a 3D perspective. But as you can see, it creates massive new possibilities for your games, and it's really exciting. Uh, another new thing which is uh, related to a 3D camera is you can now use mouse look as well, um, and pointer lock, a related feature. Uh, which I'll demonstrate with this project here. Um, so, mouse, uh, sorry, pointer lock is a way uh, is useful for controlling the camera in first-person perspective games, which you'll be familiar with if you've ever played any first-person shooter games. Uh, the cursor disappears and the mouse um, rotates the camera instead. So here, uh, it, with the mouse plugin, you can now request pointer lock, and when the mouse moves, you can rotate the camera uh, with the 3D camera action there. And so when you uh, preview the project, uh, when I click, because you need an input to use this in browsers, uh, the cursor disappears and now um, instead of having a cursor which could reach the end of the screen and stop the movement, I can now uh, just keep turning and turning, uh, which is a good way of um, using uh, control for a 3D game. And as you can see, uh, you can run around and this is actually, interestingly, this is also a 3D level uh, where you can go up and down. It, it's, um, it is still working entirely in 3D from a top-down perspective, like the first-person shooter demo, um, but it just adds a little bit more logic to handle collisions and movement on the Z-axis, um, and including uh, handling stairs uh, and moving up and down. So this shows how, with a little bit of extra logic, you can create uh, 3D games um, in a sort of simple retro style. There's absolutely loads you can do with this. We've got loads of new example projects which demonstrate how this works. Uh, and actually, there's one more thing, um, one more interesting example I can uh, demonstrate with a, a new art style you can do with 3D camera. Um, this is a uh, standard 3D camera perspective um, and you can also use what's called an orthographic projection and that means that things which are further away or closer stay the same size so far away things don't get smaller like you would get with a normal perspective and if I switch into that style you can see how it goes back to sort of looking 2D uh, it's kind of an isometric perspective uh, but this is still using a 3D camera with a 3D uh, uh, direction of view um, it just gives you another way of um, displaying your layout from a different angle. Uh, this would be great, as you can see, for isometric style games or um, for different sort of pseudo 3D or um, different art styles. So that's another really cool thing you can do with 3D camera. Uh, as I mentioned, there's tons of new examples which uh, cover various 3D features. Um, here are some of them now. You just search for 3D like I've done in the start page and you can see them. Uh, for example, here's a, a retro style uh, 3D billboard and one of my favorite new examples is the uh, ground shift template. If I just um, uh, preview this one, uh, this is again you can see how it's a 2D platformer in Logic but uh, it's got the 3D camera to give it, um, 3D camera combined with 3D shapes 
it just gives it this amazing art style which looks really cool uh, this is a fantastic example there and one more the top down shooter in 3d uh, this shows again you can see how it's 2d game logic um, oops let me bring that back uh, you can see it's uh, a bit like a top down shooter in uh, the logic of the game um, but you can run around in 3d with a 3d perspective which just gives it a really cool uh, different art style um, and shows what the possibilities of this uh, the new 3D camera plugin are. Now, um, that's all I'm going to cover in this video. Uh, check the release notes if you want to see uh, everything else that's new. Uh, we're really excited about the new 3D camera plugin. Um, we think it's a really interesting uh, way to create 3D games that are just as easy to create as 2D games. So it's very accessible, opens up lots of possibilities. Obviously, we're not making a complete 3D engine here, um, but the art styles and the possibilities that this opens up are really exciting, and we can't wait to see what you do with this. So uh, we hope you enjoy using this feature, and as ever, stay tuned for more updates.